Good evening everybody, so this is a full Zeus's part to us play Spider-Man Miles Morales. Last time I left the dog, we just started this new let's play and um well we off on a decent start where um well a bunch of a bunch of epic shit kinda of pretty much went down as we uh we pretty much had to take out uh, Rhino since Miles accidentally um <laughs> like some free because he just wanted help and all. But yeah, so so he was working with Peter Parker, right? And all we had to do was we had to chase down Rhino and send him back to uh send him back to the raft. But the thing is that um Peter Parker is going to Europe to spend time with Mary Jane, so let's just say that he he left um New York City in our hands, aka Mount Morales, so he can protect the city for him. So I further ado, Welcome let's get a move on. With me, if I listen to uh Joan Jason's um um fashion show. What? Does Pete set his suits to autoplay Jameson show? God yeah, I think I let the dialogue played out um in the previous video, but um But yeah, folks, I know it's been two weeks since I recorded uh Spider-Man. Mostly because um well it's been freaking hot to record and I've been busy recording the game industrials. Yeah, I think I did let this play it out, so let me look on the map make sure there's any side quests we can trigger. Nope. Okay, the only thing we gotta do is, um, we have to, um, we gotta, uh, advance the uh, story plot. And as you can see, um, we got 3% done, so we got, we got way a lot to do. Oh yeah, and just like Spider-Man 1 on the PS4, or Spider-Man 2018, um, there are collectibles in this game. And yes, I'll be going for all of them. And yes, there's and yeah, there's there's um there's crime uh, missions, but this time they're they're, they're kind of optional. The crime scenes are there just for fun, because unlike uh, Spider-Man One, um, tw uh, Spider-Man 2018, <laughs> um, you had to keep on uh, completing the crime missions to um in a district. And let me see. Oh, okay, okay, the, the stats is not showing yet, so, but they will at some point, but for now, and what we gotta do again? Oh, how you feel the, oh, I can just hit R3, oh, check out Pete's, uh, other surprise, like, I keep forgetting to do that, because if you click R3 on the, uh, on the right joystick, um, to let you know what your next mission is, oh, okay, it's this one. Yeah, it's kind of like the uh, like like the challenges back in the uh, back in Spider-Man 2018. But let's see how it's gonna turn out. Miles, get ready for your first holographic training challenge. These challenges are spread throughout the city. Each one focuses on a new move or technique. Oh yeah, yeah. And each challenge has its has its three rating system. Get into position. Good, great, and ultimate. And I'll be going for the ultimates. Oh, I am so down. And you go for the highest rank, First up, you get better the tokens. And you use those tokens to, uh, to upgrade your uh, gears and suits, just like in Spider-Man 2018. And now a yeah, I had to be specific, because see, if I say uh, Spider-Man 1, I could be actually referring to Spider-Man 1 on the uh, PS2, the movie game. Oh god, for a second I thought my game froze. This is next gen. Yeah, just, just follow the instructions on what the game is telling you to fight off these dummies. That's, a, that's, that's basically what there are. Oh boy. Alright, now they're gonna teach you about disarming. Alright, so we got a whole triangle disarming weapon. Yep. Just like before in, in the in the other one. Yeah, might as well say first game. Might as well call Spider-Man 1 because since Spider-Man 2 is in development. Oh, dude! I thought I fucking glitched my way through the fucking uh, bar barricade. Alright. Hold square to yank and hold triangle to yank him down. Cause if I launch him in the air, then yank him down with the triangle. Like so. And speaking of glitches, um, before I hit the record button, uh, when I when I load my uh, my file, right, I got kind of glitched out. 
Oh yeah, I think. Oh yeah, I did show. I did. Uh, oh wait, hold on. L1 square. Okay, L1 square and X to use spell smash. Then all together to create this move. Alright. But yeah, when I vote this um the safe fall, uh, I uh, count a good where I got stuck inside of a building I couldn't get out. And I think I can I can show off right now. Oh wow. Alright. I I said I gotta go under um under settings, under storage, media. Alright, where is it? Alright, if this take me too long, I may have to cut this out. Man, this shit is so goddamn complicated. Alright, screenshots. Alright, there it is. Alright, yeah, this is this is the screenshot I was talking about. Cause this happened with this happened when, when I lowered my, my save file and I got stuck inside of a building and I couldn't get out. So what I had to do was that I had to um I had to X out the game, then reload my file, and it went me somewhere else, so... That was fucking weird. Alright. Now I already need to see my PS5 menu. <laughs> but yeah. So that's the good shit I was talking about. But yeah, since we started for this, I mean, at one point I was gonna record this, but then I fell asleep at times, watching Sopranos. Okay. Oh, he malfunctioned. What a loser! <laughs> oh, blue screen of death. Oh no, don't remind me. Just like my old ass computer, my Alienware computer. So let's take these guards out. Think it's a yeek sound. I'm not really the greatest at, at uh, these beam up games. But I, I was just playing for fun. Oh, and now we got the dummies in the way. I think oh, that's not come out of this room. So you might hear him in the background. He's, he's just in his room singing and dancing. Another reason why I be taking a break from recording because I like to record when it's peace and quiet. And no, I did not go on hiatus. If, if that's what anyone's thinking. Oh yeah, feel your health just hold, just hit the hit the down button on the D pad. Alright. Mmm. Take that. That's it for the tech thieves. Now to fix the training sim. <laughs> the motherfucker spazzed it out. Alright, let's fix the computer. Colonel Panic. Well, let's try a BIOS reset. Nice. That did it. it. Looks like P made stealth, swinging, and combat challenges. Gotta check these out when I get a chance. Okay, so now. We unlock our first. Well, I want to say side quests, but more like challenges. All right, so there's the ratings I was talking about. We got amazing, spectacular, and ultimate. All right. So before we um progress in the story, we're gonna take on all the challenges because that is part of your your harvesting completion. New. Nope. I read that as new twerp. Huh? Okay, we leveled up. I just walked by. For, for, whoa, we leveled up level three. Then we got a skill point. Yeah. Look into it. Hey, so I want to hear more about your new spider powers. I think it's some kind of bioelectric discharge. Oh, my goes outside now. I hear him going to the garage. Oh, name it. How about venom power? You know, because it stings. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna run. Plaza first, then home. Remember, venom power. Trust me, it's gold. Oh, okay. 
Okay, so which one is this? Oh, this might be the swinging challenge. So, in, in order to get the ultimate, in order, oh, blah, blah, God damn it! Who if I can talk correctly? But anyway, in order for you to get the best um, ranking system in the uh, swinging challenge, we have to uh, be under 45 seconds, and and it'll give you some bonus upgrades for for being the challenge. Like this one's this one's gonna lock the uh, point launch boost. Right, let's go. Let's go into skills. So we can um, upgrade something. All right, we want to do. I guess I'll upgrade that. We can do the dumb jump. All right. Now we supposed to um we supposed to go to the uh, to the Rasta Plaza, but that's gonna have to wait until we um complete all the challenges. Hey friends, thank you so much for And hello, uh Danica. We've jumped the charts from 136 to 87. Like, uh wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. But yeah, I really love this game to death, man. <laughs> and I'm answering Fandia. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know if I share his story yet. Well, I know I shared the game of Dutch deals, but um, well, not too long ago I just got this game called um, KO the King of Root, right? But I had to get, I had to um, go to GameStop to get the uh, the the PSN gift card. Well, it was actually on receipt because they because they were sold out or whatever. But um, well, I was coming back from GameStop right by by train, right? And unfortunately, um. When I got on the train, right, they made us um like evacuate because some asshole decided to um to get on the train and, and took a shit. What if I could be that? Yeah, this man literally took a shit on the train, and we had to get out of the train because of it. No, it wasn't Beto Jr. It was some asshole or a homeless person. I don't fucking know. But that was one of what the fuck moments I experienced in my life, man. Like, good lord, man. Alright, so uh, let's let's complete this challenge right here. Hi, Miles. This challenge tests your point launch skills. Hit all the checkpoints before time runs out. Approach yep. the to begin. You got this. Well, I'm ready so you have to beat this on the 45 <laughs> seconds. How about the point launch? That's it. Alright. So See yeah, just like Superman 64, but even better. Yeah, they can get pretty hard at times. Oh boy. I might fuck this up. Keep it up. Halfway done. But the best way I can I can um describe this, you got you pretty much gotta know this route like inside out. Keep going. You're almost there. Oh boy. And sometimes he can swing kind of finically, and because of that, we ran out of time. So we can we can just restart. Yeah, we're going for the ultimate since that's since that's part of our Hummerson completion. But yes, I can't believe this guy took a shit on the train. All you had to do was hold your shit in on the train. Whoever who took a shit on the train. <laughs> and fun fact, yes, I did watch the uh, State of Play yesterday. It was pretty good. But not bad as, but not bad as, it, as it usually is. But I, I somewhat enjoyed it, even though, um... The only game that caught my attention was, um... Oh my goodness. Yeah, I start that over because the control is being is, is, is so fucking garbage. But anyway, um, the only game that that kind of caught my attention was um Resident Evil 4 remake. Yep, that's been confirmed. It's coming out um next year, March 24th, 2023. And what else they announced? Oh yeah, and, and they and they and they confirmed it. Um, Street Fighter 6. I wouldn't mind getting that also. And fucking uh True Lee, she's she's thick as hell. Already she's my new waifu. And already right, I restart my challenge. God damn it. Oh 
Oh my goodness. See, I'm surprised they give you challenge shit all kind of early. Okay. That's all I had to do. Let's keep up the pace, man. Oh my god. Oh, gotta see his... His speed is, is so uncontrollably, man. Alright, that should be it. That should be it. That should be it. Ooh! One second left to spare. Damn, just like, just like, just like in my, uh, Benji Kasui last play. When I revisit, doing the, um, doing the freaking, uh, whatchamacallit. Okay, let's follow the tutorial. Okay, it's teaching us how to unlock a mods. Alright. Oh man, was that for Howard? I've heard about his pigeons. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you at the next challenge. Oh yeah, Howard from the from from the first game. But anyway, um, it kind of reminds me of that, of that, uh, of the, of the, of the close call moment I had in my Benjamin Kasui last play, the one, the one that I revisited not too long ago, doing the, um, Grunty Suffer is fun. You know, whenever I went to the, um, to the Sandcastle mini game, right, and they had me spell, um, Benjamin Kasui's name backwards. Why can't I move? And send him careening through my studio right in the middle of recording my charity Christmas. Uh, dude, what the fuck happened? I can't jump. And think of me. Oh, my fucking God, man. I swear, every fucking time, every time I, I, uh, I record something, I count these weird ass bugs. Alright, uh, let me um, let me hit let me hit hit the uh, restart checkpoint. God damn it! Okay, now I can now I can jump. See, this is what I was talking about, folks. This game is fucking buggy as fuck. Yeah, cause I couldn't even fucking jump. But now I can though. And back I was saying about my uh <laughs> my close call mode, my Benji Kusui let's play. So I went. So doing the uh, Grunty stuff uh, is fun, right? When I went to the Sandcastle, right, they had me spell Benjik they had me um spell Benjik Sui's name backwards, right? And and I just say I beat the mini game with one second left to spare. When I when I ran pound the the, the letter B at the last very second. All right, which one is this? Twenty five hits. Oh, it's the combat one. Know the quickest way to end a fist fight? Don't use your fists. In this challenge, grab stuff, spin it around, and whack enemies with it. You can grab objects, enemy weapons, even other enemies. Every hit scores a point. Approach the problem when you're ready. Let's throw some junk at fake bros. All right, but like a, as I mentioned, man, what is me recording a let's play without counting these weird ass glitches? Yanking a weapon out of a dude's hands and throwing it back at him. Poetry in motion. All right. So I get the 25 hits by the time the timer runs out. Oh, they want me to um hit him with these wep these with these weapons. Okay. Oh, damn, I don't want to do that. Well, that's going to eat up my time. We got 13 seconds. Oh. Oh, come on. Well, start that challenge, because that was gay. Cause the thing is that yeah, cause they, cause they want you to uh to pick up a um a freaking item and, and hit him with it because if you just punch the shit out of him, it's, it's not gonna count. Oh shit! I 
I was doing a good job at I was doing a good fucking job though. But the game kinda fucked me until the to the last fucking second. Man, this is this is so fucking long. This is long as shit. Ah, fuck. Okay, my press is this. This shit didn't take this fucking long. Yeah, I think it's to hit enemies with uh, web throws. Okay, yeah. Oh my goodness. Hey, take as you have to. Oh, okay, 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 um... Okay, I had to hit the enemy SS fireman swing and see, they didn't tell me that shit. Okay, I don't know why I have so much trouble with this. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about I cut to where I finally made it because this is some bullshit. Okay, so I guess I'll have to cut this. I'll, I guess I'll have to make a jump cut after all. So yeah, maybe because I was fucking talking, this shit was too fucking hard, which is fucking gay. Alright, let's keep going until the time runs out, and then um, we should get the ultimate uh, ranking system. Alright. Three activity tokens, that's good. Well done, Spider Squire. Smack those bad guys in their holographic head, but good. Now that you've got your throwing down, try extending your wind up before release. Good way to clear some space. See you at the next challenge. Oh, extended wind up. Good idea. Okay, so we don't have to make that jump cut after all, so, um. So my final attempt is gonna stay quiet. <laughs> If you guys wonder why I'm not talking so much, and please don't recommend me um to quote this video's no commentary like that, like what that asshole did on my ukulele let's play because I enjoy making making let's plays with commentary, and I want to hear shit about oh th you gotta think of your viewers yada yada yada, motherfucker I think what I want. I chose to do let's plays with commentary, so if you don't like it, oh too bad. Just saying. Oh yeah, and this game does have fast travel, but um, we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, we might as well do a little crime. So let's just throw it off, just for let's play sake. Oh, somebody roll raging. Oh boy. Yes, yeah, this hit trying to get on the car. Oh, hit square to, um, punch the guy, or knock him out, whatever. Hey, my, man, my fucking tooth hurts because it's all loose and all. Alright. I didn't gotta keep tapping the square, so you can put the car down. Think I'm getting the hang of this. Well, fun fact, um... Like in two weeks, I'm gonna participate. I'm gonna participate in a last race with the Civil P heroes. We're gonna do a last race of uh, Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo, and I've been um, practicing it today. 
But yeah, I'm well. I'm more excited for uh, Sonic Frontier, to be honest, because they, they, they did show a, a gameplay trailer. They did show you a, a gameplay trailer of it on the um. Well, it wasn't really a trailer, but um, it was just a gameplay video on the on IGN's channel, and it looks pretty dope. I must admit. Even though it looks unfinished, but I'm still excited for it regardless. Yeah, I know, um... Yeah, I know the gameplay, um... The game, the gameplay build has some mixed reactions, but... To be fair, it's, it's a tech demo, so... You can't expect it to be perfect, like, just like that. I mean, they wouldn't call it a tech demo for no reason, you see? I mean, they call it tech demo for a reason. Okay, this, okay, this, this is one. This is not. This is another one of those those uh, racing missions. Let's spice things up, shall we? This challenge will push all your movement skills to their limit. Approach the prompt, and we'll get started. Fast and loose. Let's go. All right, we're at okay. Swing and war ones at checkpoint. Okay. Hit L three to dive down. Well, you told me a little too soon, game. And we got to be this under 45 seconds, like before. Oh man, I got this! I got this! I don't know if we got this yet, man. Cause I I might I might have screwed up because the motherfucker told me to swing like too goddamn soon. All right, this time we're not gonna allow the motherfucker anymore. Alright. Might on, be lucky though, we might be lucky. Damn, about two seconds. Not bad. Wasn't that close it was last time. New skill unlock, quick recovery. Quick recovery. Oh, and there's another challenge we and there's another um Challenge where we had to beat the enemies out getting hit so much. Oh, that one's gonna that one's gonna fucking suck. Okay, skip. All right, I'll scan marks enemies through walls and keep the mark as long as those for me. Active. I guess I can increase that. All right. Oh, this is the one. We got two more. You know what? Yeah, that, that, let's do the one at Central Park first. Yeah, I think this might be the only uh, thing we're going to cover in today's episode. It's the challenges. Then we'll, um... Then we'll, we'll do the story progression possibly in the next part. Oh yeah, that move is still back. Wait, is that the Fisk building? Yep, that is! Holy shit, I was right. Yeah, that's where the um yeah, that's where the that's where the um the first game um started out with. We had to go to the Fisk Tower and fight um Wilson Fisk. The Kingpin. Yep, I recognize that goddamn building. Welcome to Central Park. Well, I've been in New York, but I've never been to Central Park before. Not even the Central Park Zoo. As you can tell, it's, it's the holidays in this timeline, so yeah. Okay, wow, right behind it. And, and we got to be under 60 seconds. And I'm not talking about going in 60 seconds. The one with Nicolas Cage in it. In this challenge, all checkpoints are active. You have to have to record with me some pizza. Approach the prompt and we'll get started. Bring it, Pete. Okay, and this one is 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 a little is some of a challenge because this kind of requires you to take a specific route. Alright, sit line the air. Alright, we're gonna take this direction first. Gotta make a plan and execute. 
with like a split second margin for error. And yep, 60 seconds, that's, yep, that's a minute, so... Yeah, everybody knows that. Oh, okay, I thought I missed that. See, yeah, I usually go for the hardest one. I, I usually go for the, uh, for the hard ones first, but... When it comes to this... A better route is your recommendations. Oh boy. Never really appreciated Central Park till now. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh Jesus Christ. First try too. Not bad. Into a spider fan. Ultimate level work here, Miles. Carve your own path challenge. Complete. Here's a trick. Inflict your web sugar now. Trust me. Alright. Gives you the force you need for a second mid-air zip. Real life that one. Well, there's only one more chance we can do. Well, if I remember correctly, this ain't really the last chance we're gonna we're gonna do because um because as the game progresses um they're gonna uh, they're gonna um unlock more challenges we can do, and that includes side quests. Cause uh, you you know you know you know when you unlock a side quest like when you go on the map and you will see a blue triangle like in the first game then that's a that's a side quest. But when you see a yellow triangle, that's that's the other uh, story mission. Cause normally um you know what let's, let's take on a crime. Oh. And fun fact, yes, they do have Spider-Man beat up women in this one, like in Spider-Man 2 the game, back in the day. <laughs> but that, that's like in the later mission, though. Oh yeah, and they got bonus objective. I mean, those aren't too important. Finish him! Oh yeah, Tucker, I'm still working on Spider-Man on the game of Delphius, but I kind of wanna... Yeah. But I still gotta work on the, on the DLC. The City Never Sleeps DLC, but I kind of want to cover the PS5 version. Because, yeah, folks, it's obviously I'm still enjoying my PS5. This is a really good system. And, and as I explained in part one, this game right here is also on the PS4. So you, you're really not missing much out on, um... You're not really missing out... Oh my god, if I can talk properly again. What I'm trying to say is that you're not really missing... Missing anything out when it comes to the PS4 version of Spider-Man. Well, both versions, I would say. I mean, if you want to um get the PS5 version just for a faster loading time, then I guess the PS5 version is your best choice. Especially if you're a speedrunner. I could explain that in the first place. I mean, I'm not really good at explaining shit. And, and for the last time, folks, no, I don't have speech impediment. If anyone says I do, I'm gonna block you. Like that dickhead Kaiser Trigger. Yeah, I can't stand that motherfucker. Because this is how I roll. Now I'm waiting, now we're waiting on the uh, Nintendo Direct to come on. Yeah, I don't... I don't think they announced release date for it yet. But it may come out sometimes in June, but we'll see though. Oh yeah, Summer Games Done Quick comes out in, comes on at the end of June. Okay, it's right here. Alright, I guess after we, uh, after we do, do, do this challenge, we're gonna call it an episode. Oh yeah, this this this, this is the dodging one. And what's the ultimate score? Oh. Okay, so uh, if we get hit twice, then we gotta restart. Alright. Oh, I 
I thought I got hit, but no, I didn't. Only oh, defeat one enemy? Come on. At least I can now uh, fight these guys at my own pace. It's not like we're timing or anything. Now remember, we get hit, you get hit twice, we're starting over. I mean, at least that's forgivable, right? Because if it was one time, then, oh boy. Because if you get hit, if you get hit once, it's still gonna count as ultimate. But twice, that's gonna change. Nine hits. You yeah, especially use your venom occasionally. Make it make it a little easier for ya. Ooh. Get them all, oh, now my uncle's downstairs cooking and singing. That's alright though, because like I said, after um, after we get done with this challenge, we're gonna call an episode. Oh god! Thought my ship was full. Was, was full. Do more enemies to kill or defeat. Sorry, man, doesn't kill. One more. Oh. Oh God! Wow, well, I I even get hit, I even get hit a single time. Impressive, most impressive. I lose skill unlocked. One hit KO. One hit KO. Huh? <laughs> And no, we're not talking about One Punch Man. That's a damn sure. All right, see so what's what's next in the ma oh wait oh there's another challenge we can do oh fuck which one is this okay the air oh the air uh, KOs okay I guess we can do that next. I kind of want to get these out the way first before we um before we end the episode. Yeah, see, as, as I told you, the 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 more time you progress, uh, more challenges will spawn in the long runs. Right, so this one is not too bad. So we have to get eight uh, air combos. Okay. In this challenge, enemies only take damage while airborne. Get as many airborne KOs as possible. Okay, now remember, you, you defeat the enemies on the ground, it's not gonna count. Oh, I got this. Just hold, damn it, hold, uh, square to launch them in the air. Oh, damn it. Yeah, no one says it's not that bad. Oh wow. Oh, get the finisher. Alright. So the finisher and the film share is your best friend. Oh boy! How they will make this one? Some classical music would go great with this. Yeah, yep. Start that over. See what I tell you? Oh, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay. Get on the bus. Ain't nothing wrong with that. 
Cause it's been while since I played this to be fair. And the crowd goes wild. Alright. Finisher? Should be three. That's four. That's five. Oh! See, I keep missing out on the freaking finisher shit. Come on, Spider-Man, stop fucking around! Oh, God. That might cost me. Oh, that's definitely gonna cost me. Oh my god. Yup! Told you, man. He's being fucking retarded, man. Like, what the fuck? And the crowd goes wild. Can't stand the heat. Get out the airborne kick. Or feel the heat. You gotta do it right, Spider Man. It's called feel the heat. Feel the heat. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let me let me start that just in case. This is bullshit. Okay. Alright, if, if I fuck up one more the time, then we'll I'll, I'll uh, we'll do a little junk up until I, until I make it. Me, and my big mouth. Oh, this is not so bad. Take a few tries to do so. Typical. Real typical. See, I'm not even worried about dodging, cause look how fucking short the time is. Alright, come on. Alright, there we go. Whew! Barely made that shit. But we good. We good. Yeah, I might unlock some of the skills off camera if necessary, since I don't want you guys to sit there watching me upgrade shit like throughout the whole entire video. Yeah, so just like just like what I did with uh, Final Fantasy, just like just like what I did with Final Fantasy VII Remake, I most likely do some upgrades off camera if necessary. I guess I'll perch right here and let's see. Do we unlock another challenge? How ironic someone has a Spider-Man icon while I'm playing a Spider-Man game. Oh, that's funny. Okay. So that's all the challenges for now, but uh, I'm pretty sure that more will spawn in the long runs. And so this is where we're going this is where we're going in the in the episode. So next time let's play Spider-Man, Miles Morales, I'm gonna say Spider-Man 3 for some odd reason. We're gonna go to um We're gonna go to Harlem. And we're supposed to um head to Roxas Plaza. Roxas, not Roxon, not Roxas. We gotta head to the uh, Roxon Plaza, and we'll see what's in store for us. So if you guys enjoyed, and I'm about to go order me some pizza, like anyone cares. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna do some. More, we're gonna do another story mission in the next part. So until next time, everyone. Celtics A42 out.